Breast cancer. Breast cancer is the second most frequent cause of cancer-related mortality among women. The ratio of male to female cases of breast cancer is approximately 1 in 1,000. Breast cancer is exceptionally uncommon in individuals below the age of 20. The prevalence of breast cancer is highest in the age range of 35 to 75 years. A woman has a 1 in 9 lifetime risk of developing breast cancer, emphasising the significance of early detection and prevention measures. The breasts, situated on the chest wall, comprise fatty tissue, glandular tissue and ducts dedicated to milk production. These anatomical structures play essential roles in the reproductive function of the mammary glands, the nipple and areola containing nerve endings crucial for sensation in milk ducts, serve as central points for breastfeeding. Glandular tissue forms lobules, intricately connected to milk ducts, facilitating the transportation of milk towards the nipple during lactation. Cooper's ligaments, specialised connective tissue, act as natural suspenders for the breasts, ensuring their shape and maintaining a stable position on the chest wall. Several risk factors contribute to the development of breast cancer, with the major factor a female sex. The risk of breast cancer gradually increases with age, particularly after 20 years. Other significant risk factors include a history of previous breast cancer and a family history involving mutations in genes such as BRCA1, BRCA2 and P53. Intermediate risk factors encompass lifestyle factors such as alcohol consumption, dietary choices and endocrine factors like early menarche, late menopause, long-term use of oral contraceptive pills and hormone replacement therapy, nulliparity and reduced breastfeeding. Additionally, minor risk factors include obesity and stress. Most of breast cancers are the adenocarcinomas. There are two types, ductal carcinoma, which is the commonest, and it is unifocal, bilateral. Lobular carcinoma, which is multifocal and bilateral. It is common in young women. This table compare the ductal carcinoma and lobular carcinoma. Take a minute and read it for more knowledge. Clinical features. Presence of a palpable lump in the breast, characterized by its hardness, irregular shape, painlessness and immobility. Pain in the affected breast can also be a notable symptom. Nipple retraction, where the nipple appears to be pulled inward, and unilateral blood-stained nipple discharge are additional signs that warrant attention. An axillary mass, or a lump in the armpit, may also be indicative of breast cancer. In more advanced cases, ulceration of the breast skin may occur. The peau d'orange appearance, resulting from lymphatic infiltration of the breast, presents as skin resembling an orange peel due to the swelling of lymphatic vessels. Recognising these clinical presentations is crucial for early detection and prompt medical intervention in the management of breast cancer. The diagnosis of breast cancer typically involves the triple assessment, clinical history and examination, imaging such as ultrasound, mammogram and MRI, tissue or cellular diagnosis such as FNAC, core biopsy. Investigation findings of mammogram. This is done for women who are more than 40 years. It is effective in older patients. It has sensitivity up to 90% in women over the age of 50. This have little radiation exposure and it used in screening. There are two views, craniocardial, mediolateral oblique. Features to suggest malignancy are structural distortion, which lost breast contour and thickening or retracted skin, speculated masses, which is hyperdense, microcalcification 
or amorphous calcifications. Ultrasound scan is the most important diagnostic imaging tool after mammography. It is useful in females below 40 years of age because those have dense glandular breast. This is essential for early detection and used for further evaluation of suspicious findings. This excels at differentiating solid masses from fluid-filled cysts. Investigations for metastasis are ultrasound abdomen for ascites, hepatomegaly. CT brain looks for hyperdense masses or nodules. Alkaline phosphatase, which suggests bone metastasis or liver metastasis. Bone scan. Treatment are surgery for breast, such as mastectomy, breast conservation surgery, surgery in axilla, axillary clearance, axillary node sampling, sentinel lymph node biopsy, hormonal therapy such as tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitor, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.